If you love shopping at home goods, especially during the holidays, then you have come to the right place. Happy holidays! Hi friends, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, we are going to go shopping. We're going to go to Home Goods and check out their Christmas home decor as well as maybe get some gift ideas, um, maybe buy some last minute gifts. Whatever the case, I hope you enjoy it. Let's go shopping. Getting started right here, just walking in the store and there were employees everywhere stocking the shelves full of Christmas items, which was a nice surprise. I wasn't sure just how many Christmas items would be left at this point since we're a little bit over a week away. So over here there is some outdoor furniture and then this really cute little metal Santa statue. He was so cute holding a Christmas tree. And then over here in this chair is a little stuffed or a large stuffed Christmas gnome. These guys are so cute with their little hats pulled over their eyes. A Christmas blanket, really pretty, and that pillow. This display was pretty awesome. This is all Mexican pottery. They had almost everything you could think of, fish, dogs, cats, um, and there's a really cute little dish there, or a pot I should say, with birds on the edges. And the price on that was $29.99. Not bad, I don't think. Look at that wide mouth frog. <gasps> Fun. Over here, that was a pretty display too. Some pink and purple uh, glass Christmas trees with some stuffed animals, Christmas theme, little ballerinas, some Christmas stocking hangers you put on the hearth, or I should say on the mantle. And down this aisle, there's a lot of everything. There's some wreaths there and some really cute Christmas ornaments, beautiful glass ornaments. I couldn't get over how much was in this store. I think I hit it at a good time. Isn't that cute, that little gnome? I think I hit it at a good time where they were just um, restocking. Some more wreaths. I love that berry wreath right there. Isn't that pretty? And there's some, I guess you call that swag. I'm not sure with the cones on it. And just more little knickknacks, so much fun to look at. Another little mouse ballerina, <laughs> so sweet. And little ballet shoes. I thought these were fun. There's some little carolers, and I love the detailed painted faces. And down here, another caroler. $12.99, that's pretty good. I just thought this was adorable. Little mouse serving up some gingerbread cookies. <laughs> so cute. Another gnome, gold and then a happy Hanukkah gnome. Tis the season. I didn't see many pictures like this, but this was fun. I did like this too. A wooden rocking horse had some gold gilding on it. Pretty, very pretty. And this guy was, I think, I think I have the price right here at $59.99. That's really pretty. That's very different. And over here, I thought these were cool. These are felted um, garland in all sorts of colors. And the price wasn't bad on those, $12.99. Really colorful. Oh, this was so cute. Well, we'll get to the mouse in a minute, but this particular wreath was pretty big and it lit up. I couldn't figure out how to make it light right then and there, but $150. Bucks. I bet it's gorgeous when it's lit. And this mouse, so, so cute. Is that a ballerina too? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, and the glassware, all sorts of glassware, and they had it uh, merchandised like all in the 
similar colors. So here's all the red with gold accents. Aren't they gorgeous? Those fun plaid ones right there at the bottom. Just beautiful. And then just down from there, we get into the gold glassware. All of it is so festive. Just gorgeous. You don't know which one that you want to touch first. <laughs> Look at that sparkle. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the light as it sparkles off that crystal. $29.99. So many great gift ideas, including the food. The food is always fun to shop in too. They have this gourmet section and here's some coffee, all kinds of coffee here. Oh, I would love to try some of that coffee, some caramel coffee, there was Kahlua coffee, and then some chips, all sorts of different chips, lentil chips, spicy chips. Before I go down the next aisle, I found more chips and popcorn. Moroccan kettle corn, Moroccan harissa. Hmm, I've never tried that. Pops a lot. I like the name. More of the gourmet food. More different types of chips and popcorn, sweet potato chips. And then there were these crackers. Those were different. They had cherries, almonds, and linseeds. I don't even know what linseeds are. I heard of them, but I don't really know what they are. Meringues, candy. Mm. And then I think there were some jams and sauces. Here's some biscotti, some pizzelles. I was actually looking for some pizzelles for my mother, but she only likes the anise flavored, and they had everything but. There's some baklava, Toblerone. It's so much fun to look through all the different food. Okay, here they had some great Christmas throws. This one was really soft. This one was a little bit rougher as far as the texture goes. Some really cute prints. Christmas trees. That was cute. More Christmas trees. And then this one, this one had a pretty print. I thought it was floral and then it also had reindeer and had some fringe at the end. And I thought the price was great at 14, no, that one was $19.99. And then of course, the bright red throws. I like red as an accent color, even if it's not the holiday season. They had some great ones here. That was interesting with the texture. And then there's the cable knit one. And then pillows. The gnomes caught my attention and lo and behold, it's happy Valentine's Day. So they were already stocking up for Valentine's Day. That wasn't Christmas like I thought. More of the Valentine's. See the one with the heart, the pillow with the heart down there? Now here's a Christmas pillow. This is a beaded pillow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? See the smoke coming out of the chin chimney on the house? Some stars in the sky, snowflakes falling. That was beautiful. And here's another beaded one. It says Noel. This one was 20. I didn't check the price on the other one. And candles. Here we are with the candles. That makes a nice gift. So I was kind of 
checking out the candles to see if maybe I wanted to pick up a candle for a gift. I love the packaging on some of these and also I like to look inside to see what kind of wicks are in them and how many wicks. There's a Ray Dunn candle over the rainbow. Fur and grapefruit. That was a beeswax candle. $14.99. Three wicks in that one. I like that they have lids too. I guess most candles do nowadays. This one I thought was real pretty. I'm kind of sorry I didn't pick this up. The glass on it is so beautiful and it did smell really good. So I thought that would have made a good gift. Oh well. And then I'm heading down the aisle. Look at the candles that they have. It's, the shelves are just full. Life is better with a cat. I was kind of afraid if I opened that, it would smell like fish. <laughs> so I didn't open it. <laughs> and then just across the way, all sorts of candlesticks and candle holders. More of those sparkly ones right there in the mirrors. That always catches my eye. Yep, it's sparkly. I have to pick it up. <laughs> $29.99. And then um, there's always, you could pick some gifts up, maybe a journal or a blank journal or calendar for the office. They had some fun ones in here. And then just paraphernalia, office paraphernalia. paraphernalia. <laughs> Look at that pretty sparkly apple, I think it is. It's like a paperweight. You are exactly where you need to be. Of course, I'm at Home Goods. <laughs> I'm making a difference every day. Well, I hope so. So these are pretty. Like a pen holder there. It spins around. Ray Dunn stapler. A lot of white and gold I'm noticing. Wi-Fi password. That actually would come in handy sometimes. Oh, I thought this was cute. A little meditating kitty cat. <laughs> so cute. And of course, up on the next shelf up, I spotted this one, which is a meditating dog. Can't leave out the dogs, right? He's cute. I love it that they're in silver. Over here, lots and lots of markers. If you know a crafter that might appreciate something like this, cool gift idea. And then there's this jar of beads, a DIY bead kit. Hmm, beads, beads. Yeah, somewhere in my life, I have beads. <laughs> if you're not a regular watcher of my channel, I do, I, do a lot of jewelry videos, especially unboxing, and I have, love the beads. Here's a knitting set, a hat and gloves, and then just a whole section of just boxes. So these are, if you want to buy a fancy box to put a special gift in, that's actually very pretty and really sturdy. More of the same down here. This one I was tempted to buy, again with the gnomes. There's a, a recurring theme here with the gnomes, but I thought it was cool because it was also designed inside, and I liked that it had a magnetic fold-over clasp, um, but I didn't get it. And we're nearing over here to the bathroom section where they had all sorts of jewelry holders, boxes and hangers. This one was a watch a jewelry, or I should say a watch holder. All sorts of jewelry holders. Really cute. Again, really great gift ideas.
Oh, the boxes they had, so beautiful. A glass box with a really pretty crystal knob. Reasonable prices, especially, you know, if you're looking for something different for a gift. This one I thought was especially pretty, and I like that it had slots that you could put rings in. Look at the blingy bling on that. Wow. Not bad, $16.99. Turning the corner here, and there is every kind of organization bucket or basket or, or box that you could imagine. So I guess this is for makeup. Little cosmetic bags. Look at this mirror, it's an eyeball. <laughs> I was intrigued by that eyeball. Or it's, it's an eye, not an eyeball. <laughs> Hi guys, I see you. And now I'm in the kitchen section, some ceramic plates. Isn't this pretty? I don't know if it's pewter, but that would be a great gift too. A little Christmas snack uh, server. Not a bad price either at $16.99. They just had the most um, adorable things. And again, it was just so much to choose from. I'm not even sure what this was. Maybe a jam holder or a sugar holder. This is a spoon uh, rest, as you can see, and I decided to buy that. And I had put this in my basket without filming. This are melamine trays with little reindeer. I thought they were cute. Still in the kitchen section. And this is a nice gift. I'm kind of searching for something uh, to give to my mailman. So I'm looking to see maybe um, what, what I could find. There's another gnome, a little cookie jar. These are so cute, aren't they? I love that. Oh, and I spotted these two uh, soap dispensers. And it so happens that a family member of mine has two labs and they're both black. So guess what? That's going in my shopping cart. Still looking in the kitchenware, sugar and cream, Ray Dunn. Ah, Santa's helper. And I love the lid on this one. Isn't this cute? Not a bad price. And you know, my mailman is Santa's helper, right? So I thought that would be a great gift for him. And I, I went to the grocery store after and bought him a little bag of cookies to go with it. More boxes. A little pom-pom on that one. How fun are these? And look, that caught my eye. It's like a little trunk. So I put it in my basket just so I could open it up and look at it closer. And look at the inside, it's plaid. I thought that was a pretty good price for that $14.99. Hey, you know, prices at the thrift stores for this kind of stuff is about the same. <laughs> so I, d I didn't get it. I don't really need it, but I just thought it was cute. And then some wreath hangers. Thought that those were awfully cute and a very good price for those too. They're wooden and have like an iron or metal uh, top on them. Here's a little light. Christmas house, little knickknacks down here, some snow globes. Aren't these pretty little centerpieces? If you couldn't find anything here today, then uh, you couldn't find anything. Let's put it that way. So I even, uh, I picked up a few things, I, as you saw, I, that I put in my basket, and um, I just had so much fun looking at all of the Christmas items. Here's a little wooden reindeer. So you know on the way out, um, when you go check out, they still have more merchandise, and this little bag caught my eye. It's a burlap bag with Santa. So, um, 
as you go out, they just give you more and more merchandise to look at. Why not? While you're waiting in line, that's a way they can sell you things. And um, I just think they do a fantastic job at merchandising. Some kitchenware, some spatulas. More and more merchandise. There's some candy. There's some drinks. So now I'm just waiting my turn in line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming. I'll see you in the next one.